So I'm a board certified radiation oncologist and today I experienced what it's like to have one of these made. I'm Dr. Liz Zhang Vilton and I'm a radiation oncologist with USC. One of the scariest parts of radiation positioning for many patients is this mask, so today I want to talk about how and why it's made. First step, the CT simulation or mapping scan. My radiation therapist April protects my hair with a shower cap so that the melted plastic of the mask doesn't end up sticking to it and pulling any out. The mask is heated in a chamber until it's soft and flexible. Some centers use a water bath, but we prefer this method because it keeps water from getting onto the patient's face. Okay, so this is going to be warm. Yep, it's too warm right now. When the mask was pulled over my face and clipped into the table, to me it kind of felt like a hot towel at a spa, but I have to make the disclaimer of how privileged I am as a radiation oncologist to have shown up to this only with my curiosity and excitement to make a patient education video. Let me be so clear that my patients aren't given that opportunity because their situation has forced them to show up with the burden of a cancer diagnosis, medical appointments, and medical bills. So fear during this appointment is normal and it's our duty to help you through it. After this CT appointment, you go home and your radiation oncologist will spend hours drawing on the CT images to define important internal organs that we want to keep safe, as well as the cancer itself and the lymph node areas at risk. Your radiation oncologist does put a tiny safety margin on the target volumes to make sure that your tumor isn't missed by the radiation. But the most important thing I want to point out in this video is that the mask allows that margin to be only a few millimeters or about an eighth of an inch. This precision can often mean the difference between side effects you can heal from versus side effects that are permanent. So if your radiation oncologist is planning on using mask immobilization for your radiation, first and foremost, I want to stress how normal it is to feel anxious or claustrophobic. And your radiation oncology team will help you through it by talking to you, playing your favorite music, or giving you medicine if needed. But I hope this video also helps to explain the why. By braving this mask, you are reducing your long-term side effects from radiation.